It has been a busy month for us here at the Kilowatts. In just the last couple of weeks, we've seen the Genesis X and Audi SkySphere concepts. We've gotten up close and personal with the Mercedes EQS, as well as the Pininfarina Batista and Rimac Nevera hypercars. We've driven Tesla's Model S Plaid and Porsche's new Taycan Cross Turismo. And we've even ridden alongside Lucid's design lead, Derek Jenkins, in a pre-production Lucid Air. And in this video, we're gonna be focusing specifically on the Lucid Air. But before we can do that, we have to talk about the recent news that's come out about Lucid. Earlier this week, Lucid unveiled that they'll actually be delivering two different versions of their upcoming limited production Dream Edition Air, the Dream R and the Dream P. While the R focuses on range and delivers an EPA estimated 517 miles of range and an impressive 933 horsepower, the P, however, offers 1,111 horsepower with 475 miles of range. That's just 42 miles less than the range-focused Dream R. Both versions will maintain their $169,000 starting price and should qualify for the federal $7,500 tax credit. Existing reservation holders should be able to pick between these two at no additional cost prior to delivery. To help with this announcement, Lucid chose Motor Trend's Johnny Lieberman to be the first person outside of Lucid Motors to drive the Lucid Air, spending two days with a Dream R. Over the course of about 48 hours, Johnny and the team spent one day crushing two identical Air R's through the LA Canyon roads on 21-inch wheels. Then on day two, they swapped them out for more efficient 19-inch wheels to test Lucid's impressive range claims. As Johnny's article states, the pair of cars drove from LA to San Francisco to Lucid's headquarters in Newark, California. And when all of that was done, the car Johnny piloted was still showing 30 miles of range while the car piloted by Lucid's CEO, Peter Rawlinson, was able to make the trip with 72 miles of range still remaining. Doing a little bit of quick math here, Johnny's lead foot was still able to achieve 475 miles of range on a single charge, which is very impressive. Peter Rawlinson's, on the other hand, was perfectly aligned to the 517 miles of EPA estimated range. On top of that, in the article Motor Trend shared earlier this week, Johnny raved about the car's handling, its acceleration, and its overall design only remarking that the car still needed a little bit of fine tuning with the front suspension. So I guess I should be saying great job, congratulations to Lucid and the entire team. It seems like you've done it. You've made a car that has a significantly longer range than any other EV on the market and you're ready to go into production, right? I mean, this is the kind of press you'd like to hear right before you're delivering your first units. But unfortunately and kind of surprisingly, we still don't actually have a delivery date for the first units of Lucid Air. And I think our experience down in Monterey might be able to help add some color to that. First of all, I need to caveat the second half of this video. The car that they brought to Monterey Car Week to show the millionaires and billionaires at the Concourse de Elegance, well, that car was manufactured back in February of this year, so it might not be fully representative of the cars that they're manufacturing today. That being said, I was there with design lead Derek Jenkins, so you'd think that they would put their best foot forward, put their most production-ready car, the most production-representative car, out there for their future customers to see and experience, right? Well, as I explored the car, I kept on finding more and more unfinished prototype parts. And while that is common for most pre-production vehicles as they work out their final tooling and supplier contracts, I feel like they could have chosen some more updated parts to show at Monterey Car Week if they had them. Now, don't get me wrong, I know that the purpose of a ride-along such as this is to show me how quick the car is, or how smooth it is, or how quiet. And it was all of those things. It's a very well-built powertrain. However, my mind just kept on focusing on these pieces and parts that just felt not yet finished. And when we went to try the adaptive cruise control, the lane keep, the dream drive system that they have, that wasn't quite yet available. When we went to try the Alexa commands, that wasn't quite available. And we went to try the Dolby Atmos Audio 21 speaker surreal audio system, that also wasn't yet available. Following Motor Trend's time with the Air prior to shooting this video, we reached out to Lucid to see if we could spend some more time with a more recently Arizona manufactured vehicle. But until then, we're left feeling kind of torn and confused. On one end, it feels like Lucid is finally ready to deliver upon their promise of an extremely long range luxury electric sedan. And on the other, it still feels like it's so many months away with all these unfinished, incomplete parts and subsystems. Only time will tell if they'll be able to deliver a couple hundred units before the end of the year. Until then, we'd love to hear your thoughts on the current state of Lucid in the comments below. But before we go, we should probably touch on the competition that Lucid will face when they eventually reach production. So let's start with the Tesla and then we'll get into the Mercedes EQS. 
With Tesla, we all know how much Elon loves having the superlatives of the longest range or the, the quickest car or the fastest lap. Well, if they're able to deliver the Lucid Air Grand Touring, which they'll sell to anyone with $131,000, they will have effectively achieved the longest range EV with 517 miles. So it will be really interesting to see how Tesla responds to this, potentially with a rebirth of something like the previously canceled Plaid Plus, maybe with a new name like Plaid Prime. On the other side, there's the Mercedes EQS, which after getting some time to check it out, we're really surprised that it's designed the way that it is and a lot of ergonomic elements that Lucid has done much better than Mercedes. So if you're shopping between these two, honestly, we're really excited for the Lucid to eventually come to market because it has thought through a lot of the elements that Mercedes seems to have forgotten how to make. No matter what, this is going to be a very interesting market to follow over the next couple months and you know we're going to be making plenty of videos about it. So if you haven't already, please check us out on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Go ahead and like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you in the next one.